40% of teens sext, meaning they have texted or emailed explicit images to another teen. One researcher even calls sexting a normal part of teenage dating. We continue to uncover new details about the sexting scandal in Canyon City, and Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez talked to a former prosecutor who says she's not surprised, Lance. Eric and Karen Steinhauser was a former chief deputy DA in Denver. She told me that it happens all too often, kids sharing naked pictures with each other. Now, she's often called to speak to students at area schools about things like sexting, drugs, and other issues. She says she once asked a group of sixth graders if they'd received anything inappropriate on their phones, and half the class raised their hands. She said many parents aren't proactive enough in monitoring their kids, and that can result in devastating consequences on their futures. On colleges, on, on scholarships, on, on jobs, on everything. Steinhauser says kids need to learn what the law is. Even then, she says, they can unwittingly become victims or defendants. If they receive a photograph or text or something that they know is inappropriate, the first thing that they should do is delete it. And the second thing they should do is send a text back to whoever sent it to them and say, please do not ever send me anything like this again. Now, she said deleting that picture and sending that text back can make the difference when investigators track down where those pictures came from. She also said parents need to get a handle on the apps on their kids' phones, and they need to provide just a standard phone if they can't do that, in one that's just for phone calls, not for doing all that other stuff. Yeah. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. All right, thank you, Lance.